Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Tuesday, the 10th of August. Today is the first step towards the heat wave that's coming. Um, I think Vancouver is supposed to be mid 90s. It was like 81 or 82 yesterday. Um, I think it's supposed to be high 80s here in Toledo. But uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday is going to be the cookers. Um, even over 100 degrees here in Toledo. Definitely over 100 in Vancouver. They're saying like 108 in uh, Vancouver. That's going to be hot. It's going to be real hot. But it's beautiful out here now. It's 64 degrees. I looked up at one point this morning. I've been up since like 4.45. I fell asleep at my desk, got up. I built everything and uploaded it this morning. But uh, anyway, let's uh, head off to work. It looks like it's going to be hot today. And today's not the hot one. I know. It's definitely going to be warm. Yeah. Yeah, all right. We've dealt with it before. We yep. can deal with it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, We're just going to be hot and sweaty. Yep. Well, have yourself a wonderful Tuesday there, Mama. You too, Hubba Hub. And I'll see you throughout the passings. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> I love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye now. Mm, bye. Lucky me. My son's not here today. He builds these things like there's nothing to them. <laughs> Last one I built was what late 2018 when the 19s first came out, when the Rikers first came out. So, uh, a couple little changes here and there. And before I, well, there's a whole bunch of stuff about it, but yeah, things are a little bit different. But I need to take it out there in that crazy heat because you got to get it out of the crate. crazy huh how they come to to a crate like that this is just the parts for one of them and some of the stuff is already on there all right there she is the old Riker 900 I still I don't have the lock tool so I can because the steering there's a special lock tool to lock the steering down it's kind of like a, a flywheel type of thing it's a press fit and uh I need to pop on the the hand guards at the Rikers, the rally, Riker rally comes with. So I'll bust that out in the morning, get that done. I'm beat today for some reason. And that lock tool, it locks the steering down so you know that the steering is straight before you torque the bolt down and lock it down. I have the puller, I just don't have the, the uh, steering lock tool. It's probably somewhere in Ryan's area and he's not here today. So, anyway, it's been a long time since so I built one of these things. Everything went, everything went smoothly. Took me way longer than it should have, just cause uh, it's been a while, I had to read the instructions. So I was just gonna print the um, instructions out and I looked at the pages, 29 pages to the assembly instruction on this thing. I thought, yeah, I'm not going to print out a book. They'll be looking at a PDF on a computer today. All righty. Check it out. Stopped here at Red Apple. And it's just us and one other car. But it's 80, 86 degrees still here. Sitting in this parking lot. It is comfortable. Wonderful breeze. And you always have Harleys going by. Just the never ending sound of Harleys. This is like Harley country out here. I mean, you see other bikes, but it's pretty rare. I'm even an oddball myself, right? The other bikes <laughs> that aren't Harleys. I'll probably stick out, huh? Here's somebody coming in. Kelly always complains because they keep keep that place just freezing cold inside. Oh, look at her there. I need to go help her. They all have water all over the place and all three of them were hammering the old horse trophy thing there. Sasha says I'm not done. And their bucket of water, a whole bucket in their area, they don't touch. It's like her and Annie have this weird little thing going on. 
<laughs> See this old gal, is that gas? It's all this hot coming here. We're gonna um, drive this for the rest of the week. Get to working back tomorrow. We'll have to get gas on the way home. I just want to make sure I don't have to get gas first thing in the morning. <laughs> it smells so good in here. Oh man, all that leather. It's crazy. So the other day when I smelt this thing, I think it was more coming from the um, wood for the staircases than, than the car. Kelly comes out. We I think I was talking about it during a goodbye and I go, come here, smell the car. And she's going, I think you're crazy. I smell the wood. So I come around, I smell around the car. It, it wasn't coming from the car. I was wondering how it, you know, unless if a window was open or something, that'd be one thing. Does that let me switch modes while I'm sitting here? Oh, yeah. That's the fun mode there. But the suspension gets all. She's very sporty. But it's fun. It handles a lot different the shifting everything it just becomes another car when you switch that mode but for driving back to work that's nice and cozy she just floats in that mode <laughs> nothing's aggressive aggressive or anything it's weird whatever's on you can see like watch when i hit the brake lights and when you have it in that uh dynamic uh cruise mode messing around with that it um you can see whenever it touches the brake, well, you feel it, but whenever it touches the brakes, you actually see a reaction in, in the, uh, the, does it show? What about the hazard? Oh yeah, there's all your, all your different things. <laughs> Cracks me up. Where's the fog light thing on this thing? I think it's built on, oh, everything's in auto. Yeah, they don't come on unless it's running. The light comes on, but the, I mean, the indicator light comes on, but it's, uh, it's just sitting in an auto mode. This is fun. Not driving it every day. It doesn't just seem like you're your everyday driver. They're still really special to you. All right. Before we wear the battery down, it needs to run so we can get there tomorrow. <laughs> so this morning, like a knucklehead, I mean, I sat down. I remember dropping, I think I did the first couple of clips until we got to work on yesterday's vlog. And uh, I, I just, next thing I know, <laughs> it's about quarter to five in the morning. So I think it was somewhere around 10.30, could have been close to 11, when I crashed out. Kelly says, I checked on you a couple of times during the night. You look very comfortable sitting at your desk chair. She goes, that thing must be comfortable because you sure can sleep in it. It is very comfortable. You guys remember we went up, up north? Where would we go? We went up around Olympia. Oh, that's when we, um, I think we went to get infield parts or something. But anyway, uh, this morning when I'm going through this, you know, when I stopped at that bridge out there by Riderwood, I was going, you know, I, I chose this one wisely. And uh, Kelly and I were talking, we were driving to work this morning, we were talking about it. She goes, that bike chose you. I go, what do you mean? She goes, that thing absolutely, she goes, you must have a short memory. I go, what the heck are you talking about? She goes, you remember we're going there to see if the, um, if I fit the uh, Himalayan. Okay, because, you know, she hadn't sat on one or anything. And uh, I was just walking around looking at the other Royal Enfields and I seen this thing and it caught my attention immediately. But that, high vis greenish yellow stripe going across there I just have a a loathing for that color I don't know I just see I don't know drives me nuts so I'm like who the heck would put that stripe across a motorcycle so other than that it's beautiful 
because I wouldn't have no high vis anything on a motorcycle. And uh, well, that very same motorcycle is sitting right in front of us right now. Went home and I had taken a bunch of pictures, uh, as I always do. But I took a bunch of pictures and I was going through the pictures that night. Um, I don't know if it was building the video, trying to figure out a thumbnail, whatever it was. I got to this thing and I kept looking at that. And the one thing, because they had some other um, Continentals. It was always going to be the Continental. It was never going to be the Interceptor. I don't, I mean, they're basically, sounds like somebody beating on the door out there. They're basically the same motorcycle, but this, this is my thing here with the, guys, what's funny is the clip-on bars and stuff aren't as aggressive as what you might think. It's definitely a sport bike feeling though but not aggressive but the one thing i noticed in the pictures was the black rims black hubs and i'm looking at those silver rim, rims and silver hubs and i'm like i do not like that i don't it just looks to me it looks cheap so anyway of the inner set or the continentals um it was definitely this one with the with the black wheels and they did there was another i forget which one it was Maybe there was one or two that have the black hubs and black wheels. But uh, I don't know. This Dr. Mayhem color, you know, you realize it's only it's only the tank. You can buy that tank fairly cheap, actually. But you would need to get the pump and, and everything with it. Maybe another gas cap with another key or something. Or, well, no, the cap comes all the way off, doesn't it? But still, you'd need a cap because, you know, obviously there'd probably be some gas in there or maybe I'd leave it full. I don't know, but it'd be kind of fun to, like, switch back and forth between different colors. But other than the black hubs and black rims, um, the tank makes the difference. Most people don't even realize that about Sportsters. Do you realize, like, a Sportster 48, literally the only difference in color is the gas tank? That's it. They, all the 48s had black fenders black side covers it was just a tank that that changed the color it's amazing what a tank does yeah my phone is flashing all kinds of heat warnings but anyway i gather up the little woman air conditioners running in the background that this one that black and decker is just as quiet as what that home lab ones that 12,000 btu which we use in the house which does a phenomenal job by the way um, this one is, it sounds louder, but it has a third, uh, fan that home labs just has basically a low and high, or I guess, as it turns out, a low and medium. And this one has low, medium and high and, uh, the high mode is just louder on this thing, but it's easily twice as powerful, um, as far as the blowing pressure coming out of it. So that's the only difference. I just keep it on high out here. I just want it to come on, do its business, and go back to sleep. Anyway, I will uh, talk to you guys outside with the little woman in a real quick amount of time. That was probably her out there trying to scare me, banging around. She doesn't like to come in and interrupt me. <laughs> she goes, I don't want you to film me. I said, woman, I'm going to film you anyway. She goes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's so silly. All right. Well, hello there, YouTube. And let me get out here earlier and earlier. Yeah. Next thing you know, we'll be sitting here with a with a light on. We'll be inside somewhere because it'll be dark, dark and raining on top of it. I know it. The next three days, we'll be wishing it was dark and raining. Yeah, it's going to be hot. It's going to be a cooker. It didn't get as hot as, as what, so it was on the low side of what some of the predictions were, but it was still warm. Sashi. She sees the bunny running. Oh, yeah. She loves her bunnies, boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she wants to catch them. Yeah. Nope. Don't know what she do with them if she caught one. She's just very curious. Yeah. There's no, you know, freaking out over them, so I think, I think she's just very curious. Yeah. It's a little friend furry long-haired friend. I know. I don't you want to come play? Until that bunny lit into her, boy. Yeah, then it wouldn't be so fun. Oh, man. But anyway, on its 
Oh, it's awfully dark feeling out here for what time it is. But anyway, on that, we're going to bail out on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you. All right. And we'll see you in the morning. We'll see you then. We're going to take the MDX the rest of the week. Which is going to be I know that old Honda probably, probably be fine, but well, it's that hot. Yeah, we we'll don't want to kill it. Yeah. So she'll get a little dusty, but that's all right. We'll wipe her off. Yeah, we can do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Till tomorrow. Thanks now. Bye-bye.